Hello there, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, I am sitting on the floor and I'm in my super comfy clothes. I have storage bins gathered behind me. So that indicates that we are gonna be doing another organizational project. And today's project is going to be my linen cupboards, my bathroom cupboards, and my bathroom medicine cabinet. When we first moved into this house, I put in a number of bins and a couple shelves, and I thought that I had a pretty good system in place. But in a moment, oh my goodness, when I open up these doors, you're gonna see that there's a few things wrong with my system. So we're gonna try and correct those issues. I also just feel like with the holidays and then prior to that, having guests come to stay, what I tend to do is uh, in the moments before somebody's coming, I'm shoving stuff into cupboards, you know, and then those things don't get pulled back out or they don't get organized properly. And then more things get shoved in and I forget what is actually in the back of the cupboard. So we're gonna find lots of treasures, I am sure, and lots of things that we just need to toss. Now, I also am going to be going through my linens, clearing out a few of those, and I had some questions about how to fold fitted sheets. So I'll share that tip with you as well. So we've got a lot to accomplish today, so let's get started. Okay, prepare yourselves. <laughs> oh my can you see why i've been avoiding even looking into this closet as often as possible there are so many things crammed there in the back that i don't even know i've tried to compartmentalize things and group things together but you can see except for my nail polishes everything else has just spilled over into the next area. So this needs a lot of help. And then my linen cupboard, it looks all nice from the front, but I have no idea what is in the back. Actually, I know what's back there, but I can't get to it very easily. And then on the bottom where I have all of my bath towels, I have to pull out at least two bath towels to even get to anything in the back, which are my guest towels and sheets and everything. In my bathroom, this drawer is really what prompted me to finally do this because I can't stand to look in this drawer anymore. I open this drawer every single day and I have to rummage through to find the things I need. This cupboard, even though there's some organizational bins, I think that we can do better. You can see all these sunscreens are just jumbled and half of them are laying on their side and I'm sure there are a number that are expired that need to be tossed. This center cupboard, again, just overflowing. So things used to have a spot and then when I would get more products in to test or purchase new products, they didn't have a place and so they just got crammed in the front and the same is true in this hair cabinet. As I continued to get new products to test, I didn't have room in my bin off to the right, so I just started piling them in the front so I would be reminded to use them. And last, my medicine cabinet. Again, it looks um, well, it looks kind of organized, but there are at least two products deep on all of these shelves. So it's really hard to even see what's behind there. I know there are a number of things that need to be tossed. Okay. 
What do you think? We got a lot of junk, huh? Well, we got to clear a lot of stuff out, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We got to we got to get this all organized. You going to help? You going to help? Oh my goodness. Just in case you had doubts of how much I had crammed into just those two cabinets. Oh my. Yes, we have our work cut out for us. Plus a few things over here. Um, Bojo doesn't count. <laughs> and yes, so now I'm going to get started clearing things out and deciding what is actually going to go back into these cupboards because everything can't go back in there. All right, now before we get to the big reveal, it's time to fold this fitted sheet. So I am working on a dining room table. I think a hard surface is going to give you a better, more precise fold. And what we wanna do is find all four corners and we are going to end up folding this inside out. So I'm going to take one corner and fold it over my hand so that the right side is showing. And then I'm going to tuck that under the opposite corner and as I tuck it in there, I really want to try and make sure that those corners meet up underneath and you can kind of pull the sheet down just a little bit. Again, it's not going to look perfect, but we're trying to make it look better in the cabinet than a rumpled up fitted sheet. I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite end, fold one corner over your hand and then feed that corner into the opposite corner. And then we're going to, again, kind of make sure those corners meet up precisely. And now we have two corners. We're going to now combine those two corners. So you're gonna take the one, the right side, because I'm right-handed, this is just easier for me. I'm going to fold it back over my right hand. I know this looks like a magic trick, right? And then you're going to tuck it under the opposite corner. And when you do that, you wanna just straighten out the sheet and just hold up your arm and it's going to fall in place. And you're going to see that all of a sudden we have kind of a rectangular shape and all four of those fitted corners are in one corner together. And then you're just gonna lay it on the table and start smoothing out the wrinkles. Now, depending on how much you care about wrinkles in your sheets will probably determine how much time you take here. I don't mind some because there just are going to be some when I put my sheets on the bed, but the more you smooth out and the more you take time to do this, it will help your, your sheet to lay flatter in your cupboard as well. So by using the table and this hard surface, it really allows you to get a much more crisp edge and it helps the overall end result be flatter and look a little bit better. Now from here, you're going to just determine how big of a square or rectangular shape that you want to end up with. So I decide I'm gonna go ahead and just fold it in half again, long ways. And then I proceeded to fold it in quarters and I used my hand to kind of help get a more precise fold. And then once I got to that last one, I just really pressed it down on the edges and made it as flat as possible. Now this whole sheet is sheet set is for my guests. And I've decided to include a silk pillowcase along with the cotton pillowcases. Now I'm doing a trick I've seen people do, but it's where you tuck the entire sheet set into a pillowcase. Now, normally they say use one of the pillowcases from the set, 
but I just think that I like to use a different pillowcase as the cover so that it doesn't get dirty and then when your guest arrives you're using a dirty pillowcase. So I used this king size pillowcase. I tried to shorten it down just a little bit before I tucked the sheet set in and now I am further tucking it in. I think this method works a little better with a standard pillow size so you don't have as much to tuck in but I did make it work with this king size pillowcase. Okay, it has been several days, but I am finally ready to reveal the finished project. Oh my goodness, this did take more time than I thought it would. But as I got into it, I thought, you know, I really want to add a few more bins and a few more baskets, and I really want to label everything. So I finished labeling things last night, and that honestly was the finishing touch that these cupboards needed because it seems inconsequential and silly to label things if you can see what's in there, but there's just something about that label that makes it look like you put extra effort in and it makes everything, I think, more visually appealing. So I'm gonna go ahead and spin the camera around and we're gonna start actually in my bathroom and then we'll finish up here with the linen cupboard. Let's start out down below here. So our hair cupboard, not a whole lot changed. I did add these labels so it looks more organized, but what I did is I moved all of my excess hair styling products that I have in my linen cupboard. I put them in the back so that I have all my backup root boost products and shine products and extra things there in the back. And I, it would have been better if I had a step Kind of a little shelf back there but I didn't have anything that would fit so I can still pretty much see everything back there so I felt like this is going to be something that will work for me. Now up top the drawer um, all I did was add this little organizational bin here. I will link these. These are super inexpensive. They come in packs of uh, three and four from Target but put my combs, my scissors, my battery operated flat iron in here Moving to this center cupboard, what I did here in order to better utilize the space both vertically and horizontally is I turned the shelf that was already in here long ways so that it allowed me to fit this extra bin in here. So I have this for all of my body lotions, the one next to it for all of my sunless tanning products, which used to be on top here. And instead, what I have up here are my deodorants and my perfumes. So the perfumes are kept out of the sunlight, but yet they're kind of more secure in this bin so I can pull it out and easily access what is back there. On the side here, I just stacked up my sunless tanning mitts so those stay nice and out of the way. And then below, I just have some feminine products. Those are kept nice and neat, but I can pull that drawer out when I need it. And then this is my jewelry cleaner. This is such a great one, but it does sometimes leak. So I like to keep it in this little plastic container. And then I use this kitchen scrubber just to keep my sink clean. Off to the right, this cupboard is still full, but I feel like better organized and I did actually purge a lot of products. So here in the front, these are all of my face sunscreens. And then I have a few um, facial mist products that I feel like are kind of more skincare oriented than necessarily makeup oriented. So I have all of those. What I did in the bin, in the bottom of this basket, I added an organizer that I already had on hand and it allows everything to kind of stay separated but standing up so I can see what's there. In the back, I have all of my masks, my face masks, um, sheet masks, kind of some backup of my favorites. Just have those tucked away because I don't use those all the time. Um, I feel like I know where they are when I need to get to them. And then this is a basket of newer skincare products. Just a lot of kind of mix and match kind of random skincare that I'm testing out. And then I have kind of some of my facial skin tools. So this is my PMD and just some other um, tools that I use. And then the drawer above it, which was a horrible mess. 
there's still a lot in here, but I can easily see or get to everything that's in here. I have lots of eye creams I need to use up. I've been testing a lot. And then just kind of teeth products and then these miscellaneous things that were floating in the drawer. And then I always keep my glasses in my bathroom drawer. I don't know why, it's just the most convenient place. So needed a space for that. Up top in the medicine cabinet, this is what it looks like now. Believe it or not, this is greatly reduced from what was in here before. And now I have basically everything up here that I use on a regular basis or on a daily basis from my eye care products, even my brow tinting, my sunscreens that I use on a daily basis under makeup, and then my kind of normal skincare routine items, contact, eye drops, all of that, and then the rest of my skincare for both daytime and nighttime. All right, now let's go out here to the linen cupboards, and oh my goodness, these cupboards make me so much happier when I open them. So this first one is the one that has all of the towels, washcloths, and pillowcases, the guest sheets. So what I ended up doing for these deep cabinets is I put my large bath towels in the back because I know what's there and then put my smaller washcloths, my workout towels, and then my face washcloths up front because these are things I am using new every day. Then down below, this is kind of where I put my extra products. So my extra hand towels, I put my pillowcases in just these $1.50 shoe boxes. I love the idea of just keeping pillowcases especially extra clean and then these are my seasonal hand towels that I use in my kitchen. I just don't have room for them in my kitchen, so I thought that worked well. But this whole unit I can pull out, and behind here I have all of the guest towels. Bojo wants to see too. You wanna see, huh? You taking a tour with us? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I have all of my guest towels, and then, on top is the guest sheets that you just saw me finish folding. So these are all of the guest bath towels. And then off to the right, I just have this little extra organizer that has an extra pillowcase handy. Okay, and then in these two cupboards, oh my goodness, this took a lot of trial and error to come up with this. So at first glance, they are still full. But in a moment, I think you'll see that this system is going to work so much better because it allows me to see and get to everything in here. So let's look a little deeper in here of what I did. So again, utilized some more of these really inexpensive drawer organizers, put a label on it and it looks just super fancy more of these shoe organizers for my excess products that I don't need to access every day. I already had these photo boxes, just added a label. So all of our toothpaste and dental floss extras are in there. I did add this great little kitchen um, jar for my cotton balls, my excess ones that aren't in my bathroom. I just thought that was really cute and just a great way to keep those clean and yet easy to move out of the way when I need to get to something in the back. So um, here I have just extra face samples. This is my travel kit of my travel size daily skincare items from Paula's Choice, so I keep that ready to go. And then these are travel size products that I get for free with gift with purchase. There's hair products and other things. So. I like to go through this basket when I'm getting ready to travel too and see if I can use some of those things. And then just some feminine products tucked back there. And then over to the right, I found these little bins. I just thought they were so pretty and so cute. They are a pretty thin plastic, so they're not super heavy duty. And the lids do clip on, but they're not 
like, I mean, they're a pretty easy unclip, but they do slightly click on. So as long as you're not like taking these, um, trying to travel with these things, I think they're actually really good. And what I like about these with a lid, it allows you to stack on top of each other. So again, I added this wire shelf. I put my UV light back there and then <laughs> kind of overflow nail products are in the photo box that I already had. And then up front, I left the nail polish on kind of the shelf itself so that again, it allows me to see what's back there. And I do access this quite often. So it makes that easy to do. For Q-tips and cotton pads, I found these um, pretty inexpensive at Target and they actually clip into each other. So you can stack them or take them apart. I thought this was a great way again to keep everything clean. And then I have my little bucket back there with my top coat, my nail files, things that I pull out every time I do my nails. Now down below, I just put my body sunscreens, nail polish remover, my oils, and rubbing alcohol all in this plastic bin. I thought this was a good way to keep these products that have potential for leaking, keep them off the shelf, even though I do have this kind of rubberized shelf paper in here. And then again, just another little drawer organizer for some extra eye drops and some um, extra, right now I've got some extra little hairspray, travel hairsprays. In the back then, same philosophy as up top is I just need to remove one item to see what's back here. So I have my hair trimming kit for when I cut my husband's hair <laughs> and then all of my extra hand creams and extra body loofahs are there all tucked away. And then in the center is the extra hair products. So I have extra shampoos and conditioners, also have extra body wash. So again, this was good to get a visual of actually what I have on hand. So now I know I don't need any more of these products for a while. And now on this side, I put kind of this miscellaneous tray here. I did subdivide it out. So we've got hand sanitizers, extra deodorant, and then my kind of perfume little making kit here. I have some extra gel nail supplies. These aren't things that I need to access on a regular basis. And then in the back, I have this face steamer, um, a corn bag that my good friend gave to me, and then um, my brush cleaning shampoo that I use. And then up top, what I did with the rest of my brush cleaning supplies is I put them in this Thrive Cosmetics little bag. So now when I go clean my brushes, all I have to do is grab this and one of those soaps in that bowl and I'm ready to go. So as I sit on the floor in front of my finished project, I'm very pleased with how it came together. And I feel like, fingers crossed, this system that I implemented is one that is going to be easy to maintain and stay organized. Now organization does take maintenance, but if it's a good system, it shouldn't take a lot of maintenance. And that's what I'm hoping for with this. I'm also hoping that this will help me be able to see more readily what I already have on hand. So I'm not thinking, oh, I need another body wash. And I really don't. So um, I think the key, if you are dealing with deep cupboards like I have, the main key is utilizing the vertical space in the back of the cupboard. And then whatever you put in the front, you need to be able to move it easily so that you can access what is in the back. Also, you don't want to completely block what is in the back there when you're putting stuff in front of it. So just keep those things in mind. And I think that will help you not feel like that back space is wasted space or that things just get lost back there. That was definitely what was happening with me. I hope that you found this video fun and helpful. If you did not see my pantry organizational project, I will link that up top 
and in the description box below, as well as any of the organizational bins and shelves that I used today or that I recently purchased. I will also try to find links for those and put those in the description box as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.